The secure ID in terms of uh, Gemalto's uh, capabilities is a, uh, an identification document with a chip in it, more, more commonly known as a smart card. This device, um, being a small secure computer chip inside the, uh, the document, be it a passport, be it an identity card, um, is there in order to ensure that the user is really present and they are the um, entrusted holder of the card and the valid user. So by using the chip, um, we can ensure that the, the right person is using the card, uh, so we can authenticate that they're present, and then the card can then authenticate onto a network um, to the right uh, servers, the right equipment, to ensure that it's now communicating with valid resources. So it, it is a way of trusting the fact that you have a user who should be now accessing these particular services. Well, it, it's about trust. How do you really know who somebody is when they come to perform a transaction? Be they in real life when they come in to do into a store or to open a bank account. How do you really know who they are? Um, a secure ID is a way of presenting a, a, an already trusted identity document that can now be authenticated on the spot and give a high assurance of trust to the provider that they're now opening a bank account or providing a service to the individual who is claimed to be on the card. So it really is a benefit to make sure that you are in control of your identity. Nobody else can now pretend to be you and try and uh, undertake identity theft by claiming to be you when they're really not. Therefore, you're in control of your identity and giving a higher level of trust to the individuals that you're providing, uh, you're obtaining service from. Uh, there's really a, a lot of benefit from the consumer perspective. There's a lot of benefit from all of the providers. They now know who they're dealing with. I think if there's going to be convenience, it's going to be to ensure um, good transactions uh, with high authentication online. In real life today, we have driver's licenses and passports, which we can show when we go to airports, uh, et cetera, and, and, and borders. But when we're on the internet, who do we really um, know who's dealing with us as far as if we're a provider of services? It's just electrons that are arriving, bits and bytes. You've really no idea if it's a human or, or if it's a particular individual. By providing a secure identity over the internet and having that authenticated and knowing that that is indeed the person now that is using that card and that card is attested to the fact that they're present, you can now have a higher degree of trust that that is the individual. Therefore, the convenience is that you're quickly logging on to services, you're therefore establishing trust and you're performing the transactions quicker and also knowing and being able to sleep at night that nobody else is masquerading as you performing those transactions under your identity.